As soon as you start putting data into MapMate, it's important to start backing it up as well, so that you have a copy in case anything goes wrong with your computer. There are two ways of doing backups from MapMate, and in this clip we're going to look at the backup system within MapMate itself. This works perfectly well and will keep your data safe, but what it doesn't do is keep a backup copy of any maps that you might have created yourself. If you want to keep a copy of your maps as well, it's best to actually copy the whole of the MapMate folder from your computer, and we'll look at that in a separate clip later on. To back up the data though within MapMate, you need to go to the replication section of the program, then click onto the special menu and back up your database. It explains what it's going to do and it tells you where the file is going to end up and asks you if you want to continue, so click on yes and it goes through the process of creating the file, copying all your records into this backup file. When it's copied all of them, it takes a few moments to compress the file and it will then come up with a message informing you that the file has been created and reminding you again where it is. It also reminds you, quite importantly, that although it's created the file, you haven't properly backed up your data until you take a copy of that file and put it somewhere else other than on your computer. Because obviously if the computer itself goes wrong, then you need to be able to get the backup file from somewhere else, such as putting it onto a CD or a memory stick or some other place where you can keep it separately from your main computer. So we can OK that message. A good way of keeping a copy of your backup file away from your own computer is to upload it to the MapMate web server. You can do this quite easily by going to the Sync menu and choosing Send Sync File to Web. You can now tick off the backup file that you've just created and click on Upload and that file will be copied up to MapMate's own web servers. The file will be stored there as safely as possible, but like everything to do with computers, you can't absolutely guarantee that it will be held there forever, so um, you may wish to keep a copy of the file yourself onto a memory stick or CD as well. And to do that, we need to find the backup file that's been saved on our computer. So having created our backup file, let's go and see where it is. We'll move over and look at the files and folders on our computer. Exactly where the file will be does depend on which version of Windows you're using and how you've got MapMate set up. If your MapMate setup is up to date, you should find that in the My Documents part of your computer, you have a folder called My MapMate. If we go into there and then into the Data folder, down again into the Cache, and the backup file will have been put into the Upload folder. And there it is. The first three characters in this file name will be the center unique key for your particular copy of MapMate. And then you have the word backup without a C to specify that that's a file. So there it is. We've created the file. But as I say, you now need to get a copy of that file and put it onto a memory stick or other um, place away from your computer. and uh, there you have all your data safely backed up. If you ever need to use the backup file to recover your data, it's simply a matter of copying it from the um, place that you've securely stored it, and then reinstalling MapMate on your computer, going back through to the My MapMate folder, Data, Cache, and this time you want to find the Download folder, and paste your backup file into there. And now, when you go back into MapMate, you'll be able to bring that file in and recover all the records that you have in the backup file. So that's how to deal with backing up your data using MapMate's own backup facility, and that's much, much better than not doing anything at all, and it's important that you should do the backups as soon as you start entering data into MapMate. However, for the alternative way of, of saving a backup copy of your data, which will also include the maps that you've created, see the next video clip in our series, which shows you how to copy the folders directly from your computer.